Okay, guys, I got these at the Dollar Tree. I have six all together. I'm gonna take this tool here. Sometimes you have to give it a little twist. And I'm gonna do this on each one. So I'm putting pressure and twisting at the same time. I have this round, it's a 12 inch round rim. This is also from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna take floral wire. You can get this right at Hobby Lobby. I've had this roll probably since I started crafting. That's how long I've, they last. So I'm gonna want to get amongst all this stuff on the back and create a secure situation. I'm gonna want two ends. I'm gonna take this. And secure it on my rim. Okay. And I'm gonna alternate my colors. So this one is the navy, then I'm gonna to go to the red. And I'm gonna do this all the way around. So I'm getting close to the end and I'm not gonna have enough to go all the way around. So just make a note of that. If you like this look all the way around, you're gonna need um, probably one more of these, okay? Maybe even two and scoot them a little closer. Okay, so now I have the space at the bottom. I have options. I think I'm gonna take this truck and this one I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna wanna cut this one pretty close. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one here. But before I clamp it, I kinda of want something else going on. So I'm gonna take all this apart. I just want these stars. If you look close at these, they just kinda of twist around. So I can use this for something else. And I can use this for something else. I already know what I'm going to use that for. Okay. So I'm just going to take these so they look like they're coming out of the back of the truck. I do have a little hole here I can utilize. Okay. I'm going to throw some hot glue. I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to put that down the hole. I'm going to wrap around all of this stuff. So I want to keep this truck a little straight. So I'm going to put some stick fast <clears throat> on these blocks from the Dollar Tree. So 
So if you can find this truck, you could use this truck at the bottom and the sign. I preferred the other truck better. I had both, so I went with that. But you, if you want to save money, this would cut back you a dollar. Um, I think, but I want this God Bless America with the white background. On my wreath. A big flag in the back of the truck. That was my personal, but this would look good too. You know, so it's up to you. Or you could use the um, God Bless America that came off of this and paint it white. I just wanted something that would stand out and I felt like this one stand out, stood out a little bit better. So I'm gonna put this either even or I think I may go off the center a little bit. I'm gonna make a big knot. And in these situations, I always put a little glue. I don't want it to go through the hole. I'm making the big knot more for decorative purposes. I want plenty of jute to work with. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so here, I'm gonna stick fast these to the center of these two over here. So I got this box at Hobby Lobby and um, I'm gonna take these stars. I'm not gonna paint them because then it kind of pulls in the natural look of the jute and I'm gonna glue these to the center of each star. There you go, I'm very happy. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.